Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today it's just me because I'm filming this video during the week which makes it very difficult for Jörg to be in the video because he's at the office so and I'm not filming the monthly favourites um, religiously because I don't always have something to share and what you see is usually something you really loves as well so we will try to make a few videos together in future so that he can share some manly stuff <laughs> that would be great don't you think and yeah i've been to the hairdresser on monday which was very exciting my hair became so long in the back it was like a ponytail and yeah it really yeah it was about time and hairdressers opened in the UK on uh, July 4th and at midnight actually and there isn't any obligation to wear a mask in the UK but our hairdresser asks clients to wear a mask which we think is just fabulous and yeah I was really anxious to go there but felt quite safe and relaxed once I was there because everyone was wearing a mask and they had safety measures in place so I felt totally fine and Jörg's appointment is tomorrow and yeah who would have thought that you would get excited about a hairdresser appointment and then again it shows what you can do without if there is a crisis it's crazy I am particularly excited about the first favourite because it's something Jörg and I absolutely adore and it's this pair of Staffordshire dogs. They are so so pretty. They are of course antique and North Staffordshire became the centre of ceramic production in the early 17th century and Jörg and I particularly love their Staffordshire dog figurines which usually come as matching pairs especially spaniel dogs were very very popular you can also find Staffordshire greyhounds or Dalmatians we actually have Dalmatians figurines as well that I shared some videos ago and I will put the link down below in the description box so you can check out the video I've actually just realized the Dalmatians are behind me but if you want to take a closer look you should check out the video and see what they look like and they are so so pretty because Staffordshire dogs usually come as a pair they are also known as fireplace dogs and we have such a pretty mantelpiece in our future, future dining room and they will sit there and we are so excited about this because we think they will look so so pretty and we also think they are just part of an English home and yeah maybe just a little warning there are as with basically everything a lot of Staffordshire fakes out there and just buy from trusted dealers if you haven't bought Staffordshire porcelain yet but would love to have something and of course I will put the link down below in the description box from where we buy so that it might help you yeah now Jörg and I always love buying English interior magazines because we and not, not only because we have to do a lot of work to this house just in general I particularly I probably have been reading English interior mags for, I don't know, I started quite early I'd say for the past 25 years and I really love those magazines. Last month I've been really enjoying their house and garden website, particularly their houses and decoration sections because you can get so much inspiration there and find dealers stuff and just be inspired I always I'm such a visual person and I need photos they just 
they inspire me and they make me happy and get me creative in a way so if you haven't checked out the website I'm sure you will love it so I of course will link that as well. Now our next favourite are friendly products and they are natural bath and body products made in England and the nice there is a nice story behind these products when they first started they they created a range for their bathrooms at the English country pub in a wheelchair called the Beckford Arms and guests love these products so much that they wanted to buy them so they made them available for people to buy and Jörg and I stayed at this beautiful country pub almost three years ago there is we filmed a bit when uh, I have to say, there is a, a little YouTube video available just when I started this channel, but the video, looking back, the video is such poor quality and the music is terrible. I think we've come a long way, but we still try to improve, of course, you always have to improve. Since I do all the editing and the choice of the music, looking back and watching that video, just yesterday I was thinking, oh my God, should I remove it? But then, you know, I always think it's, first it's nice to have as a memory and also to see how far you've come, you know? And these products, they just smell so, so lovely. I think um, they ship worldwide and we have the body wash, we have the body lotion and the conditioner and they smell divine. They smell so, so nice. All of the products are made with their finest essential oils. They have a big, big range. They make beautiful gifts as well, if you ask me. And the ingredients are 100% biodegradable, cruelty-free packaging is recyclable of course and I just we both love this and I can't stop we both love their range so so much and yeah I would actually I would be so interested in visiting them and film them uh, but I don't know if they would like to have us and well maybe it doesn't hurt to ask but yeah, really, this is, is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I hope you like that as well. Our next favourite is the most gorgeous book. It's not only a coffee table book, it looks beautiful on a coffee table, but it's so nice to read and just browse because of the amazing photography. And this is the book, Cecil Beaton at home, an interior life. It's amazing, honestly, it's amazing. Cecil Beaton was a man of so, so many talents. It's incredible. He was a photographer, he was a playwright, an interior designer. The man even designed all the garments for My Fair Lady and won an Oscar for best costume design which I totally get to be honest and this book is like a visual biography and mainly focuses on the two houses that were dear to him Ashcombe House in Wiltshire which is the most beautiful Georgian manor house and Jörg and I jo the Georgian architecture is our favourite architecture out there it looks just so, so incredibly beautiful. And Reddish House, also in Wiltshire. And actually Madonna lived at Ashcombe House in, uh, I think, 2001. And with Guy Ritchie, and as far as I know, Guy Ritchie still owns this place with his wife. And there are the most gorgeous photos 
on uh, Pinterest, I think the photos, Madonna and Ashcombe House, I think they were in vogue as far as I remember and I love them so much, the style is so so beautiful. I will try to find them and just put the link to Pinterest down below of course. And Cecil Beaton also was the royal photographer of course and you know what, when Jürgen and I um, made this video about about period films and series a while ago, we totally forgot to mention The Crown, which we both absolutely love. It's such a brilliant series and I have to say I love it as much as Downton Abbey, for sure. And yeah, Cecil Beaton took a lot of photos of, of Princess Margaret and it's shown in The Crown as well. So. It's quite interesting to watch because he was such, he was a dandy and so extravagant and such an exceptional character and yeah this book is amazing. And we can also recommend the documentary, I think it's on Amazon Prime, Love Cecil, it's a wonderful biography and in case you haven't watched that we are quite sure you will love that. You will fall in love with the talents of that man. It's incredible. Our last favourite is something a very nice subscriber suggested to us. So thank you so much for this. And it's an interview you can watch on YouTube. It's an interview from 1959 and an interview with the British poet and critic Edith Sitwell, who was born in 1887, so during the Victorian era, and I will link it of course. And Edith Sitwell was also friends with Cecil Beaton. He created Jazz Age portraits of her that reminded of the pre Raphaelite paintings, so really, really interesting. She was such a unique character. She wasn't beautiful or anything, but so very unique and I'm sure you will love this interview because she's you don't find that nowadays. She's so straightforward and a fascinating character. You have to watch it and yeah, again, thank you so much for recommending this. And these are our June favourites and of course we hope you like them as much as we do. We always, we say we share about five to six products, items, websites, things like that, that you might enjoy, hopefully. And let us know what you think in the comment section. And I always, I also have to say, this community is amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to comment. And we try to reply to most comments, but sometimes it's just not possible because it takes so long. So don't be cross if we don't reply. It's not um, something personal, it's just because of the time. But it's amazing, we really, really appreciate that. And yeah, again, we see you very soon and take care guys. Thank you so much, bye.